You are something else. Are you yours? Oh, I swear I wasn't expecting to take you up here on a first date. This is a date. Well, isn't it at least respectable to go on a date first? Respectable? Is that the kind of girl you're looking for? No, I mean, isn't there like an unwritten rule to this kind of thing? Relax. I'm not your mother. Did you hear something? Are we doing this or what? I think someone's outside. Are you kidding me right now? One Becky sent me this. It's from Dublin. I can't believe it. <laughs> she got you good. It's real. It's a hoax. People try and make this stuff go viral all the time. It's a fake. They look possessed. What you see outside, anyway? Bunch of dogs. And a killer clown, looking for a great place to party. Must have seen your video. He's on his way to Panaskellig. What? This isn't funny. It isn't real. You barely even saw it. Are you? You smashed my phone! Take me home! Now! You smashed it! Take. Me. Ah! Evening. Name. Robbie. Is that it? Do you have a surname? Or were you raised by a pack of wolves? You think a pack of wolves named me Robert? Don't get smart with me, sunshine. Move along. With all the incidents tonight, it's not safe to be out here like this. What incidents? Have you not seen the news? We think there might have been a terrorist attack. I told you. Oh, for feck's sake, have the guards fallen for this as well? You'd better start showing some respect for the uniform, pal, and decide which side you're on. Those attacks are causing a lot of dissent around these parts. Are there more weirdos like this? Taking young girls down the back arse of nowhere to abuse them. One second! Do we have a situation here, miss? Well, I think it may be better if you brought me home. Garda... Horan. Yes, that's okay. Do I have any reason to take this man to the station, miss? Oh. He's no man. But no. Sonia? In all seriousness, it was lovely to meet you. Drop dead, Robbie. Dublin remains unknown. Some sources 
records indicate the terrorists may be a domestic threat, with many rural towns now experiencing an uprising. Nice to see us all. Right where I left you. I see we have some newcomers. Welcome to the show. Open your box. Pervert! Dude, you gotta check this out. Uh -huh. Oh, there's dozens of videos popping up online. <laughs> Goblins and shambles, people are killing each other ever! I'm starting to shake and do. It's feckin' zombies. Jay? Uh, I don't want to hear any more of this shit. You mean you know about it? Well, what are we gonna do? Nothing, man. It's fake news. But there's nothing coming out of Dublin at all about it. And there's nothing anything. Do you know what I want to know? What? How many times will I have to tell you not to leave the door open before you close the bleeding thing, huh? Cover that story for me, will you? Oh, but man, I've been researching this for hours and I'm telling you, it's the apocalypse! There's no such thing as zombies, Jay. Just get the cans. Can you believe this, Chi? What happened? My date smashed it. Another successful encounter. Very funny. I goes my tender lineup for the next week. You live without it, I'm sure. What's tender? A date nap. One stop shop. Everything you need, right at your fingertips. Have you not exhausted all the talent on that thing at this stage? If you're not locked in your room, you're on a date. It's like living with a ghost that smells like Christian Jor. Well, it looks like you're gonna have to find yourself a woman the old-fashioned way. And stop being so lazy about it. You were talking to me about lazy. Whose job did it take the Christmas decorations down three months ago? The tree is down, isn't it? And what about this? All right, don't take it out with me. I didn't break your phone, Casablanca. No way. There's a whole site group and all the videos from Dublin. They're dead. I swear, Jay, if you don't shut up about that zombie crap. Honestly, man, if you ever get tired of this conspiracy stuff. Climate change. <coughs> Climate change is real. And only a miasma of people living in their parents' basements believe you're a scutter. Well, then why does this site have 90,000 subscribers? There's mayhem in Dublin, and the jury's out on what's really going down. Is it a hoax? Terrorism? Or is it really the dead? And more importantly, will this phenomenon spread beyond the big smoke? I'm Liv Whelan, coming to you from Offaly with the latest from the Midlands, as it happens. Unbelievable. What? Only you would take a supposed disaster and try to turn it into a fame grab. This is how it works, Captain Clueless. It only makes sense to use what's current to promote my brand. Your brand? Wow. Best of luck with it, Liv. Don't let me stand in your way. I won't. It's about time I got discovered. I work hard at this. Yeah, real hard work pouncing around the internet. Internet personality is a real job too. Internet personality. Hmm, how many subscribers do you have? 44. 44. You couldn't fill a jockey sock with that many subscribers. Yeah, well maybe this is how I'll build them. Investigating what could be the biggest story to come out of Dublin since 1916. Well, I say a fair play to her. Someone needs to get the message out. All this crap will blow over by the weekend, guaranteed, and all you'll be left with is another failed venture. I'll probably have a thousand subscribers by then. You got a thousand subscribers? I'll give you my car. I'll hold you to that. Let's see how you feel having to do without for once. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Seriously? When have you ever been denied anything? Oh, come on. I've had a crap night already without more of this. Kate? We've been asked to make house calls in the community. 
to inform the locals of a meeting taking place in town tomorrow at 12. Your attendance is crucial. How many are we in this household? Uh, me, my sister and two cousins. Well, there's no need to panic, but it's best if everyone showed up. So we have the residents alerted about a serious situation. We already know about the Dublin situation. Not Dublin. Here. We're asking that everyone stay safely in your homes until the meeting. Well, we're hardly going anywhere Thursday 2 a.m. You in town long? I moved back here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? I take it you're doing quite well. What? Well, whatever this is must be keeping you quite busy. I'll be speaking to Sergeant Whelan before too long, I imagine. We have been busy, actually. Haven't even had a chance to drop your date home yet. <laughs> Evening all. Lovely weather, wouldn't you say? Where are you off to? Mrs Mooney down the way said the dogs after giving her an awful doing. Nearly took a chunk over her leg, apparently. So she stuck the thing with a knife. Now she wants someone to clean up the mess. She's in terrible shock. Did you call an ambulance? No, officer. I thought I'd let her bleed to death. And see if she comes back from the dead. Tomorrow at 12. Make sure you attend, all right? I'm sure I could drop by. Gotta have each other's backs. Right. I thought you said jug. I might be having a heart attack. Oh, you crack eyes now. But when you catch me in the uniform, then let's see who's glad that I worked to be a guard. I couldn't have been a paramedic. Mm, and there's the uniform. <laughs> Speaking of work, I got the American job. Working from our comfy apartment. Mm -hmm. And we did get the apartment. Through the same gift of the gap. Yeah. And I just thought, with everything going so well, and it just feels like it's the right time and we should get married. <laughs> exactly. So. Of course I will. Whatever you say to her, make sure it ends well. You were hard enough to live with before she came into town. And nobody should have to deal with you in full soap mode. What are you gonna do? What I was born to do. Food money? Where's your cash? I forgot to bring any. Go on in, I'll be back in a minute. You won't go hungry. But I'm always hungry. Hey. Hey. So, you think this stuff in Dublin is real? All I know is, we haven't heard anything back from the branches in the capital since the incident started happening. We're trying to prepare for the event that nobody's getting back to us. You'll hear about it in the meeting. Is that all I get after over two years? Just go to the meeting? I don't know what you want me to say. Maybe hi. How are you? What have you been up the last 27 months? How are you doing, Robbie? I'm good. That's great. Mm. I have to go. 
We can talk later. I'll see you in the hall, right? I'm sorry. Would you mind sharing your thoughts with us at the meeting today? What do you think is happening? What? Do you think something terrible is happening in Dublin? I don't know what's going on. Should I only watch the soaps to the missus, if I can be bothered? What's all this? I'm just checking in with the locals to get their opinion on everything. Sharing the community story. Are you making a film? Hi, I was wondering if I could ask you if you could- well, let me tell you something now, Garleen. Did I see you come in without a jacket? Uh, sure, you'll catch your death. Can you just- Do you know what you need now is a cup of tea. A cup of tea, I'll warm you up and it'll do you the world of good. No, I'm fine. She's as pale as a sheet. Yeah. And sure to perish the Danes out there. Do you think sure, the homeless are dying from the cold? They're dying in their millions. And the rich are eating the What do you think of what's going on in Dublin? I think it's great. You think it's great? Yeah. Hey, uh, YOLO. The revolution. Come on, the lads. Uh, and what about all the violence? It's just a bunch of bios in Dublin breaking windows, you know? Nothing serious at all. Nothing serious? What about all the zombies? What? Oh, the zombie apocalypse? Oh yeah, the zombie apocalypse. Oh, uh, I am a zombie. I walk slowly and in straight lines. Ah, the zombies are getting me! Where's my boyfriend? <laughs> zombies. Well, are we rich yet? Can we take the helicopter home? I think at least one person could give me a part of a shell of a wit of a thought about what's been going on. Some of these people in this town are the strange... Oh, finished up the welfare. Aye. Stroking the rich to feed the poor, as they say. And they got modern day Robin Hood. You need to get up off your arse, man, and get a job. Or at least an education. You'll end up working in a place like this. How dare you? This is a respectable establishment run by the very finest of immigrants. Hello there. I was just thinking, it must be so rewarding to manage a humble little eatery such as this. Oh no, it's very shit. Really. Long hours and the people complaining about the hygiene, hygiene, hygiene and the money. And don't get me started about the stuff. I mean, look at this. Look, look at that bastard there. Farhad! Farhad! Such a beautiful language. As a local businessman, what do you think of what the media has been saying about the events in Dublin? Is it a reformation or is it terrorism? Liv, you can't go throwing around accusations of terrorism just like that. No, what else would you call it? What? Of course it is terrorism. My cousin who lives and works in Tillamore told me that he saw one guy in the middle of the street get curb stomped. Now, my father did not leave our homeland only to wind up under the foot of another tyrannical regime. Curb stomped. Could almost turn your stomach thinking about it. Now, what can I get you, my friends? A full Irish and a chocolate milkshake, please. Well, I wouldn't need anything here, man. I hear the hygiene shit. Embarrass me in front of the Iranians. The end is near. No, love. It's quarter past. Sure, only getting started. If we could just all calm down so we can get through everything. Now, we understand that this is disturbing information, but we have actions to implement that require your attention. All questions and concerns must wait until the end. Councillor Mulligan here has consulted with the rest of the district officials and will now share the information of those meetings. Councillor Thank you, Superintendent. In light of the recent attacks in Dublin and the inability of both ourselves and the Gardaí to make contact with our associates in the capital, the County Council feel we must take precautionary measures in order to ensure our safety. The personal safety of all our constituents is our number one priority. Delighted to hear it. 
Keeping us living in the lap of luxury. Right, boss? Excuse me. Yes, Your Highness. Shut up. It's unfortunately come to our attention that in the wake of recent attacks, some insurgents have risen up. Opportunists who have taken the chaos in Dublin as a sign that a revolution is at hand. But we, your elected officials, will not stand for this threat against the people. We must not allow this treacherous behavior to stand. And, to add emphasis to the need for weighty measures, Garda Horan will now play a video that surfaced online just yesterday. Please be advised, what you're about to see, you may find disturbing. Ma'am. Uh, Angie Green. Station. Tell me more. Green. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're done with the old ways. The lies. The exploitation. We were the victims of the promises of the regime. Heaven. No. But, but now is the dawn of a new world. Join us and the stand against us. Garda Green was a member of a team dispatched to Dublin to retrieve information about the attacks and subsequent blackout. Judging by this footage, we conclude that Garda Green and her team were killed by her captors. Now, based on the time of their departure and the release of this footage, it is believed that these vigilantes are located in and around the Offaly area. However, this is not the first instance of such an attack. Other incidents have been reported all over the Midlands. And we have lost a lot of good officers in the last 24 hours. But given the nature of the circumstances in Dublin, we simply don't have the manpower to effectively combat these insurgents. In order to help our law enforcement so that we can keep our town secure, we feel it is in the best interests of the community for all able-bodied members to join with the Guardi and volunteer their services in defense of our townlands. Calm down, please. Can't you see that this is a sign? Sure haven't we been demanding a change for an age? I say if a revolution's come to Dublin, it's about high time. For heaven's sake, Jerry. You're not suggesting we throw our lot in with the vigilantes. I'm not saying nothing about no vigilantes. They may have their own notions, but why can't we have ours? Exactly. Yeah, I'm tired of living off coppers while the despots in government get cut fat checks. Here, here. I'm tired of minimum wage being lowered in the price of a pack of smokes. Here, here. I'm tired of living off the wife's gruel every day! Here? Wait a second! Yeah, shut up! You're not serious, Jerry! And why not? What does the church have to say in the matter? Well, it's... Who cares? Listen, the time for talking about things is over. This is a time for action. I say let the revolution come to us and embrace it with open arms! How do we know that what the vigilantes are saying is happening in Dublin is actually happening? So you know what's going on, do you? I, I never said that. Fess up now, father. Have you been hearing things in confession? No. But you didn't tell us if you had. The confessional is a sacred place. Damn me arse! Oh, Super, they needed to see I don't want to hear it. You're relieved from your duty. Super, if I may. I don't think now is the time to lower our numbers. Oi, oi, oi! Oi! Settle down! Settle down! Now is not the time to be fighting amongst ourselves. You all saw what happened. You might not have liked it, but that threat is real. 
And I, for one, am glad to know what I'm up against. I say we stand with the guards and we give them what they need. No! We stand alone together! Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for your attention. We've heard what you've had to say and we'll take everything on board. We hope for a quick and peaceful recovery. Focus all your efforts in finding the vigilantes. Let the town fend for itself. Where are you going? Tipperary, where hopefully they have a bit more sense. What's going on? What's wrong with this family? If this is a sex dream, I'm out. Once I find out you're doing with that didgeridoo. What are you doing here? Your snorting relaxes me, so I come in when you fall asleep. How long have you been doing that for? Oh, about a year. What are you walking around the whole house for? There was someone in my room. Was she hot? They were wearing a mask. Nice. Are you sure you're not seeing things? It's late, dark, and after that video today... There was someone here, Liam! Have a look around, will you? Give us some peace of mind. It's not like I was fast asleep or anything. Fine! Will you make it out so I can get dressed? You're wearing your dressing gown. And what about me underpants? Are you all right? I mean to ask you how you're feeling, seeing her again. What? Kate. I don't know. Grand. Did you know she'd been relocated here? Of course not. Must have been a real shock. Messed your head a bit. Liv, I know what I saw. He was... What are you doing here? Are you on the right side? What side? Do you want to live in a new world? He needs a call, Kate. Hold it.
They're sending a car out to check the area. That's all they can spare. Kate? No. Beautiful. You wanna watch a film? How Not about another zombie movie? You have us driven mad with all these broomsticks and space aliens and I want to suck your brains. Do you even pay attention to my movies? No. And I've no want to. A lot of senseless blood and guts, that's all it is. I'll hold your hand if you want, like. I'm not afraid. I'm just more of a, an action kind of guy. A bit of Arnold Schwarzenhammer or Sylvester Stallion. Now they're my kind of lads. What do you mean your kind of lads? All you do is sit around the house all day in your dressing gown eating rice crunchies from your pocket. I think I'd handle myself quite well in that intense situation, actually. Knock off a baddie or two. Save all the lovely girls and right as it comes to a head, I'd... I'd rattle out a witty one-liner. Like what? I don't know. Dream a little dream of chi. If you love chi, let chi go. Don't cry for chi. Argentina. No, no, you're just naming 70 songs and replacing me with chi. And besides... Those movies have violence in them too, you know that, right? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with a bit of old violence without resorting to cannibalism, thank you very much. Oh, well, you know all about that. What? Remember when Darren was done with the tunnels in his ears and, uh, <laughs> cut off his lobes? I didn't know he'd thrown them in the stir fry. Well, you ate them all the same. I thought they were prawns. They didn't taste like prawns, did they? No. Tastes like chicken, you it said. It was my first time eating prawns. I didn't know what they were to taste but like. But they weren't prawns! Just shut up, Jay! What do you think the world would be like? You know, if the shite hits the proverbial. I don't know. If we're optimistic. I suppose it's a chance for the world to rethink some things. Start over. Establish a new system based on freedom, love and peace for all humanity. What about you? How do you see the world turning out? I think... Maybe it doesn't. Maybe this really is the end. The judgement that's always been coming, but we never heeded it. We get the rulers we deserve. We've cried out for destruction for so long that the damned have finally risen up to take us back into submission. And we'll walk this here, this one, all right. A legion of corpses arm in arm. Ever devouring. And ever starving. Eternally the beasts that have sprung forth from the depths of our dark soul. Woe to those born into this evil generation. For theirs is the kingdom of death. Excuse me while I clean my underpants. I'll never talk to you again. Yes, there. 
I know. You don't deserve me. So I keep reminding me. <laughs> I think I'm going to visit Liv again this weekend. Again? So soon? Quit? I can't get the time off. I'll never pass the exams. I suppose there'll be less of this when you're on the force. What a shame. Someone's going to have to make his own breakfast. You know what I mean. We'll lose our minds together. Yes. And we'll be able to afford a bigger place, holidays, things grown-ups have. You don't want to be here forever, do you? I'm liking it an awful lot more than the alternative. Aren't you the guy who said he can't wait to start a family? I think we should move to Offaly. What? To take care of Liv. Robbie, you can't ask me to do that. It's not fair. I'm only thinking... Doesn't she have the other two? That you could do it and looking after her as well, don't you think? Robbie, you're asking me to give up my responsibilities, my career. You can build all that. Why? Why am I always the one doing the sacrificing? Don't do this, Kate. Not now. Robbie, it's... It's been three months. It's hard, I know. And you're never going to get over it, but you can learn to live with it. Why is this happening now? For the same reason anything happens to any of us. So we can pick ourselves Robbie. up and be all the stronger for it. Robbie. They caught somebody. Good job, Sergeant. Thank you. Congratulations. Ah, uh, Robert, just a man. How many of you saw the intruder? Uh, just me and Liv. Okay, if you can come with us, please. We suspect that this is your intruder. She was cut calling on people to take up action, inciting violent behavior. I thought they were arguing against taking action. Except where the guardie is concerned, it seems. Her husband fled as we apprehended her. But we'll have him soon, too. Look, I just don't know. I mean, I know we never saw her face, but I don't think... Look, it's a small town, and right now we only have one suspect. If anything comes up, we'll contact you. The end is near. I get it. Don't tell me you forgot to get petrol again. Don't stare with me. The stuff on my mind. <laughs> Who's stuff on my mind for his next excuse? <sighs> Whose turn is it to get out and push? Know you? Probably. I'm a pretty big deal. <laughs> I'm sure. Fair play to you. What a fine inspiration of him. Don't you think so, Georgie? Look, lad, she's certainly the kind of woman that really grabs your attention. That's the truth. Yeah, well. How can we help you, darling? No, it's fine. Honestly. We just ran out of petrol, but we're almost home. Really, we're fine. Are you sure? Be no trouble. I quite don't mind getting you some. 
I mean, in this day and age, we really gotta look after each other, don't we? That's really nice of you, but we're grand, honestly. Well, do be careful getting home, lads. When you get that motor sorted out, yeah? I'd hate the regret not having a stab at it. Are you friends with them on face paint or something? Will do. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Well? Cage at the description. They're gonna keep an eye out. Comforting. What happened to Sam with the guards? I can't believe we've them loans and whatever's in its way from Dublin to worry about. And the town chose to do nothing. You can't fight the numbers, Jay. The people have spoken and they demand satisfaction. So the powers that be may get on top of it before. Relax, it's just the fuse again. Somebody still hasn't been in touch with the electrician like they said they would. Get off me back, will you? Seek. I never smoke. Kate's here. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. If I show people that I have an in with the cards, I know I'll get the edge I need. I'd love to help, but all of our official statements have to go through the press office first. What happens when you get your followers anyway? What's the payout from the long run? Well, you could monetize your channel and make cash that way. Or you could use your platform to become a successful recording artist. You dead set on getting your name out there, huh? Everybody has their name out there. Sure, who doesn't have everything about themselves plastered all over the internet these days? Nope. I want to be a star. Is there nothing to be said for the simple life? I think I've had enough of simple. I'm so sorry. Where's me manners? Can I offer you something to eat? Now, we're no Garnia chefs around here, but I could put on more toast. And I'm nearly sure I've seen a tin of hot dogs out there somewhere. I'm all right for the old hot dogs, thanks. I'm actually a pescatarian. What? A pescatarian. The only meat I eat is fish. Oh. There's nuggets in the freezer. I can't eat those. Why? Because they're chicken. Yeah. And chicken isn't a fish. Cup of milk? You don't drink milk? Nope. What do you put in your tea? Nothing. Was your family killed by a stampede of wild animals or something? It's pretty normal these days, Chi. I read articles about it all the time. Oh, here we go. The queen of controversy. Ready to play devil's abacus. There's loads of reasons they clear dairy products. The chemicals for one, not to mention it comes from another animal. Think about it, you're drinking warm cow titty cream. Oh. You look... Don't you have to be on duty? You have to get time off at some point. 
the superintendent still isn't eager to have me around anyway. Is there somewhere we can talk? In private? Of course. Come on. Excuse me? Coming over here on duty is one thing. And now she's here all casual. And off they go to the bedroom. Liv, if I know anything, they're in there right now, churning the butter. <clears throat> Look, I'm not going to stay long. I just, I can't get something off my mind. And I think it's better if we... Get, get back straight. together. What? What? Get things straight. Right. I forgive you. You what now? I forgive you for leaving. I've gotten past it. What do you mean you've gotten past it? Don't start this. I'm just looking for a straight answer for my wife. Robbie, you have no right to call me that. Oh, I'm not wrong, am I? Just because you're not wearing a ring anymore doesn't mean you're single. I am single. And I'm not going to let you make me feel guilty. Feel guilty? I'm interested in someone. And I don't want things to get weird between us if I do decide to see him. See who? Mike. Who? Guard the Horan. Oh, Captain Situation! He's a good man, Robbie, and he seems to care about me. And he's hardworking, responsible, loyal. Loyal? I'm not the one who chose my job over you. You left me! I left because I needed to be here for my family. You didn't give a crap about them until your mother died. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, that was quick. Ah, uh, well, allow me to head out with you. Why? Where are you going? Mrs. Mooney's again. She called, but I couldn't make out what she was saying. Why was it a bad line? No, it was fine. She was just incoherent and making strange sounds, like a goose molesting a wasp's nest. I reckon that woman has a touch of dimension. Sounds like she needs to get into a home. She needs to find herself a job and stop arsing around the house all day. Well, you're not going over there on your own, are you? Well, I can't leave the old girl all alone. All the emergency services out cleaning up after Slipknot. No, you can't. We'll all go together. Safety numbers? Be careful. Mrs. Mooney! Mrs. Mooney! She probably went to bed. She sleeps about 16 hours a day. Like a ferret! She does not look okay. It is a particularly bad case of being bitten by a dog. This is it, man. I'm telling you, it's here. It's the Z virus. Or do you think maybe it's rabies? Full blown AIDS. Uh, I bet you that dog's roaming around the place now looking for its next victim. What are you talking about? The cheap put it in the ground. And how sure are you it's still there? I'd like a bit of confirmation in case they have to roundhouse kick it through a window or something. Oh, gee, where'd you bury the thing? Backyard and... Let's check it out. You too. Watch her. 
We'll let you know if she asks for brains. Liv, what? Mr. De Gaulle. It's only a cab, it's not 1855. Olivia. Fine. What's gotten into you lately? Nothing. Just trying to make the most of all this. I'm doing really well. I'm nearly at a thousand subscribers. But what's the point of having the attention of thousands of people you don't know? Or who don't really know you. That hardly matters. Having a following just shows that you're doing a good job. But is it better to be recognised or to just do a good job? I can't want both. It just seems to me if someone's fulfilled in doing their work, they don't feel the need to be seen doing it. You're still on disability. Why are you lecturing me about work? Jay, I'm so sorry. I've been thinking a lot about that myself. And with everything that's been going on, it just doesn't seem right somehow. We get a lot of rope, the G and me. And nobody wants to tell a couple of young fellas with a dad in prison for putting their mother in the ground that they have to go out and do a bit. Yeah. Well, I've got scars. Emotional. Physical. But what right do I have to go out and live off that? It just seems to me these days everyone wants something for nothing. But when you're used to doing nothing but nothing, that's all you're good for. There she grows, right where I left her. Gee, have you ever buried anything before? No, but what's there to it? Dig a hole, throw it in, cover it up, say a prayer. In theory. How was I supposed to do it? All this Dublin stuff has really done a number on you, huh? <clears throat> Just have a feeling about it. The guilt followed soon after. When we demand the things we don't deserve, we get the monsters we do. There's always decomposition. <laughs> Jay! Oh! oh is it? It's a zombie money! It's a zombie money! She's a... Liv, give me your phone. I'm calling Kate. Hey, listen. Mrs. Mirren's after taking a bite out of the G. Can you just get to us, please? We're still at her place down the street. Be careful.
She's on the way. Guys, I think it's about time to take a look at these videos. Here's the latest. Alice. Alice. Wake up. Ugh, whatever. Hey guys, so that's it. The end of day six of my birthday week. Another night by the fire, under the stars, drinking till four, shut the hell up. Uh, I'm trying to tell people how awesome this is. Yeah, well, some of us are trying to sleep because some of us aren't 20 anymore. Uh, some of us can't handle their hangovers anymore. They're coming for you, Barbara. <laughs> oh, seriously? What is she barking at? Oh, who cares? <laughs> Shut up, dog! <laughs> no, seriously. There's something out there. Shh. Jesse? Oh. Oh. No. Jesse! What are you doing? Sweet sister, listen to that. It says it was drink from Mount Melik, right on our border, two hours ago. How long until they're here? They're already here. And they're already picking us off. What? This? It is a scratch. Like Moonies? I'm sorry, man. Let's not write him off just yet, Robbie. Liv, if it's spreading this fast, there's no way he's not infected. We'll get help. And what? Tell them my neighbor came back from the dead and fancy the cheat shop? Sure thing, pal. Take two of these and call us in the morning if he doesn't bite your face off. No one's gonna believe this shit. So we either get home and have a lock in Armageddon style or get the feck out of Dodge, but either way, Chi, you can't come with us. You can't be serious. He's infected, Liv. You didn't believe in zombies ten minutes ago. Yeah, well... Things change. Not much, it seems. You think you know someone? Robbie, you need to calm down for a second. Think about what you're saying. I know exactly what I'm saying, Liv. Didn't you just see what one little L1 nearly did to us? Jay. I know his family. I've been getting ready for this. I believe the signs. Tried to get my head around it. You know, at some stage, you have to make tough decisions. I'm not going to devalue someone's life for my own convenience. I'm staying with the Chi. We fall. What? Put it to a fall. Majority rules, right, Jean? Right then. All in favour of the Chi coming with us. Can't phone you on case, Chi. Shit. Liv, come on, think about it. You know I'm right. I. Yes, sir.
Miss, could you turn around, please? It was all a bit sudden. I was meant to do that, right? Where did I just kill a little old lady? Well, let's figure it out inside. That was amazing. I'm not even sure what that was. Well, you just bashed its brains in, so you're more experienced than we do. They don't play sceptics here. What? That's a zombie. Covered in puke. Gee. Looks like a motherboard regurgitating a manky aquarium. I'd say you're starving after that. I'd offer you food, but she only has the bolognese in the freezer. And, uh, no, you're a Presbyterian. I'll go get you some water. Why did you come here on your own anyway? You don't know what it's like out there at the minute. And you can't believe I was expecting to come here and fight an extra from Thriller. Of course. Where's your car? <sighs> I ran out of petrol about a quarter of a mile out. <laughs> oh, my days. Well, we know what we have to do now, don't we? Right. Head for the coast and board the first ship to Puerto Rico. What? It's ideal. We can sit on the beach halfway around the world while we wait for all this to blow over. And I can still remember all my Spanish from school. Somos excitados de preparar tu paya picante. We need to get to the town. Why? Because a guard knows the story now. So we can tell people, prepare for what's coming and then Get some help for the chief. It's too late for that. What do you mean? Something happened in town. One of the restaurants was broken into. They completely destroyed the place. They grabbed one of the managers, a Middle Eastern guy, and hung him outside for everyone to see. Now the town is either packing up to leave or going on a mad witch hunt. 1,000 subscribers, read them and weep. What? You can't blame yourself, Liv. You know they saw it. Just be more responsible in the future, that's all. What? I'm just saying, you know, maybe you should start thinking about stopping messing around with all this wannabe celebrity stuff. Now that you've seen what's come of it. Half the reason I've been doing this is because of you. Not once, not once have I ever received a support from you for anything. Don't you think of all the people in the world, the one person whose encouragement I needed was my big brother. Liv, I... Big brother who only ever put me down. Who had to make fun of everything. Who left the instant he could and never called unless he wanted something. What's the real reason you came home, Morgan? Because it sure wasn't to be with your family. We weren't even a blip on your radar until you lost contact with the outside world. That's not true. Yes, it is. I need to get back to the station. You're not going anywhere. We're going to go back to our place and figure things out. And who's going back to our place, exactly? What? <sighs> Zombie Mooney took a bite out of the tree and now Robbie wants to leave him behind.
That's yours? What? The bullshit excuse you have for being the most self-centered git on the planet. I thought you of all people understand having to make a tough call. I didn't like saying it. I know what it looks like, but there is such a thing as a necessary evil. Have you no compassion? I was compassionate! The way you just were with your sister. God, if you don't even have a heart for your own family. I'm only thinking about my family. Why is that always so hard for you to believe? Robbie, you didn't come here for your family. You came here because, true to form, Robbie Whelan had to bail when things didn't suit him. I was putting everything I had into getting into the force. And that meant less time for you. And you thought you deserved better. Yeah, well, you can't exactly tell me things are the way you wanted either. Robbie, that's life. It's not about getting what you want. And marriage, it's about living for something more than just yourself. I would have worked through anything with you. Because I loved you. And love isn't a fuzzy feeling. It's sacrifice. That's it. Just like the old days, isn't it? Probably laugh. Realize lady, they were the best days of my life. Want me giving you a ball again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the rest. I should never left you. We should go in. If you want to be there for them, be there for them. So what's the plan? Let's go to the mountains. All of us. Seek! Fuse is gone again! Hang on till I get it! Phone. Take out your phone. Record. Record what? Everything live.
I'll kill you! Buddy, we need this. Where is it? Okay, go, go, go. Show me, show me, show me, show me.
You'll give us a way, Liv. Turn the light off. Wrecked everything, Liv. What do you mean? Case. Gee. If I don't listen, they'd still be here. But I'd never listen. Oh, it's eating me up. You couldn't have seen this coming. It doesn't matter. If I just done the right thing, they'd still be here. <laughs> but I don't. I did the right thing for me. <laughs> and you know what makes me the biggest piece of shit in the world? When they dropped that card you know, on the floor, I was glad. For a tiny moment between the anger and the fear, I was happy. Because it meant I wouldn't have to fight for her. I didn't fight for her, Liv. I never fall for her. Shh. I'm here. I'm here. I forgot to get a proper bouquet ordered from the florist, so... These are from the garage. <laughs> if she were alive, she'd kill me. She never killed us over anything. Yeah. You're right. How'd you know I'd be here? Jay? Kate rang. I'm sorry. Why does it feel like I'm never going to get over this? Why'd you leave her then? Not Kate. Mom. It wasn't her time. If it wasn't her time, she'd still be here. And what would we have done differently? You're starting to sound an awful lot like Jay. So you're back for good then? Yeah. But I'm getting the master bedroom. <laughs> You're a sport, brat Robbie. Yeah, it's the least I deserve for looking after you. You promise? Promise what? To look after me. I promise.
Check the window. There's nothing. What's going on? We'll have to take a look outside. Pick yourself up, Robbie. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Liv. I'm crying. No! Do it. Do it. Do it! No! Yeah! That was shit. Oh, oh. Look. I slept with the cattle last night. Things might have got a bit weird. And, uh, I'm pretty sure one of them pissed on me. No, let's never speak of this again. No, I mean, how haven't you turned? Oh, I don't know.
that ties me to you It is a lie Solid blood All that you've drained from me